that dream baby. Let's go back to <clears throat> yes. Travis. Hey, what's up, Max? Could I uh talk to you for a minute? Uh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right. Up and at him, ladies. Up and at him. Oh. oh God. What do you mean? My first threesome. I owned it. Actually, it was, it was a little more work than I thought it was going to be. Congrats. Thanks. But what did I say about using my place for sex? I don't know. I said, use your own place. And risk having these chicks know where I live? I mean, you know I can't do that. Yeah, but Evelyn slept over, man. If she knows you're here, she's going to shit a Prius. Come on, this should be cool with you. We're, we're brothers. Half brothers, technically. We're from the same sec. I can't believe you'd say that. How you get these girls to bang you, I will never know. You see, it's not about banging. It's about love. I, I love these girls with everything I got. I care about Lakitra and Lashonda. I care about them so much. No, 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 not, not from the bottle. <clears throat> Sorry, I lost some electrolytes back there. Oh, great. Now, will you please go? The eggs. I always down one raw egg after busting a nut, and right now, I need three. Make that four raw eggs stat. Uh, I don't know. Evelyn doesn't let me have any food that's not vegan. She's so saying you got no eggs. Oh, my God. When are you going to nat up to this broad, huh? I mean, first she makes you sell your car because it wasn't a hybrid. Now she's screwing with your diet? Yeah, well, when you meet a girl that's half as hot and intelligent and concerned about the environment as Evelyn, we will talk. I don't, I don't think I want that. Yeah! Uh, here. Get your stuff and whatever's left of your dignity out of the apartment, please. Thank you. Travis? Hey, how are you? You can go to hell. Yes, yes, ma'am. Come on, chop chop, ladies, let's go. You don't have to go home, but you cannot stay here. I suggest the nearest church or Planned Parenthood. Is that my sheet? <laughs> This, it's not mine. Just, just take it with you. Hey, whatever happens, I'm, I'm here for you, brother. Here's your half brother. Half. That was a little harsh, don't you think, Ev? No. I'm only trying to help him. Okay. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. But you can make it up to me. You know, a little bit of breakfast sex. Uh, I'm already late for work as it is. Oh, then you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. All right. Okay, all right. But it's got to be a quickie. I <laughs> said it was going to take long. You got me all tied up. Call Bloody Marys. You're all Hi, Mary. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm late. Something uh, came up. Yep, I'm gonna dress the windows right now, and then I will clean the bathroom. Okay. Bye bye. Delivery. Cool morning, Chuck. <laughs> Can't believe your boss makes you greet people that way. Yeah, she says it adds to the ambiance. <laughs> My condolences. 
Sign that. Tell you what, though, when I own my own shop, I'm gonna greet customers the way I want to. Hey, that'll be the day. And the last one. All right, thank you, Chuck. Go to hell. You're welcome, and go to hell, Max. <laughs> or desire yours the evil way. Live green or blog hard, saving the world one blog at a time. I just got a shipment of costumes. You want to play dress up? Well, that depends on what you got. Well, there's naughty nurse, mischievous maid, slutty schoolgirl, and hussy housewife. Oh, my favorite. Favorites. Um, let me just finish up this blog and uh, I'll be there in a jiff. You are coming to kill me. Of course. That was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Your boss needs to replace those incandescent tubes with compact fluorescents. CFLs last up to ten times longer, and she'd be cutting her energy bill by more than half. I love it when you speak green. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to curb your carbon footprint. So when I open Max's scare shack, you can be my environmental consultant. <sighs> okay, here I go again with that. Ev. Look. Werewolves and vampires and zombies, they're figments. Max, they're not real. And? And why waste your time hawking this crap when there are so many real problems in the world? And look at this, okay? Satan genie. Make any want, wish, or desire yours the evil way. It's a load of horseshit. Yeah, but. That's why this stuff is so important. It challenges us to stop accepting the world and, you know, face our inner monster and find the strength to conquer it. It's a bit of a stretch, Max. You say that now, but who will you turn to when the world is taken over <laughs> by zombies? Hmm. You make me laugh. Glad to be of service. Serious. Hmm? Once I lost my mom, a part of me just shut off. And like a piece of me died with her, and then I found you. You brought me back to life. I promise we will always be like this. I promise we will always be together. Always and forever. Lugosi did keep the habit, though. I think there's a YouTube video of him leaving rehab, which is great. You know? Yeah, that's great, but that's why you should never put anything unnatural into your body, Max. I just wrote a blog about this. I feel like a malted. Do you want a malted? <laughs> no, Max, you know I don't drink milk. Come on, Ev. Live a little. 
Um, the stuff in that kills you. Welcome to Ice Cream. Look at all these flavors, Ev. Um, everything's homemade by yours truly, and everything truly kicks ass. Ginger gore, walnut warlock, caramel cadaver. Wait a second, fruit brute? Yeah. Like the monster cereal fruit brute? Yeah, like the monster cereal. Huh. What's the fruit brute? Well, General, General Mills, Mills put out a... Sorry. <laughs> Please, go ahead. But they put out a line of cereals based on classic monsters like Frankenberry, Booberry, Cone de Chocula, and Fruit Brute was one of the cereals, but no one bought it, so it died. Yeah, until I decided to resurrect it. It's alive. No, retro. Well, I will have one Fruit Brute malted, please. Excellent choice. Um, and for the lady? I'll take a soy Oreo shake and uh, we're in a rush. Um, actually, I don't have cookies and cream. You know, you can get that anywhere. So. Oh, wow. I've never met an ice cream snob before. Stop. I didn't mean it like that at all. Oh, no. You think that you're so great, right? Because you work at some novelty ice cream shop where you serve flavors based on pop culture artifacts that only cool people like you know about. But do you actually know what they put in this stuff? You're practically poisoning your customers. What is your problem? You are my problem, you skank. Evelyn! No, Max, we're leaving. We're going to Pinkberry. Are you coming or not? But fruit brute. Fine. I'm so sorry. That's fine. No worries. Good luck. Enjoy pink berry. It has milk in it, also. You mind telling me what that was about? I don't know. Why didn't you tell me Flirty McGee? Flirty McGee? We were talking about monster cereals. Fine. Go be with someone who knows about obscure, discontinued breakfast foods, Max. I just wanted a malted. <sighs> Max, I'm so sorry. Please don't be mad at me. I'm not mad. I just want to know what happened back there. I don't know. I just... I freaked out, you know? And it wasn't you. It was just... That girl, she just got under my skin. It was just ice cream, Evelyn. Ice cream. All right, I'm sorry. I am. Um, I just get scared sometimes. You're all I have, and I don't want to lose you. You're not going to lose me, Ev. Thank you. Go to hell. Where do you get off? Who dare call Bloody Marys? Hey, Becky. Hey, you think you could sneak away from work for a minute? I have a surprise for you. I promise you won't regret it. Really? Really. On my way. <laughs> and I would like to keep it that way. My bad. So, do you love it or do you love it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's different. Well, our apartment is now 100% green. Literally. Do you like the color? It's made from fresh cut wheatgrass, so no solvents, toxic metals, or volatile organic compounds. Great. Uh, what did you do with my posters? 
Don't worry, I put them in the drawer. Oh my god, you're kidding me, right? They weren't even in English. It's because they were imported. Okay, well, they were taking up all the wall space. These were in pristine condition. Do you understand how much these were worth? I was going to make a down payment on a space and with there these. you go with the shop idea. Like and when again. do we decide to redecorate the apartment anyway? Okay, well, it's my home, too. You I know, that. Evelyn, I know. But we have to make these sorts of decisions together. Well, it was my mother's birthday, and I was just trying to do something fun. Evelyn. Just leave Evelyn. me alone, Max. Come on. Go away. Travis, open up. It's me. Jesus, man, you look like shit. Yeah, well, ever since little Miss Boner Killer banned me from your apartment, I haven't been able to get any poons. I'm all backed up. You look pretty busted yourself. Hasn't she been feeding you? Tofu, 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 all tofu, all the time. Look. I know, I know. I skip most meals. Not that. I think it's Twinkies expire. Twinkies don't expire. Yeah, they do. Every four weeks. Really? Then they get good again. <laughs> I did not know that. Mm. What? Yeah, sure. You gotta do something about that broad, bro. I mean, she's bad for you and me, especially me. That's the thing, Evelyn and I, it's, it's not working. You guys breaking up? Well, Evelyn is a, a very sweet girl and the sex is, is rad. Yeah? But she can be such a stark raving lunatic sometimes. Agreed. I just don't think we fit anymore. When you drop in the bomb, uh, I'll start making some calls. I've never been the dumper. I've always been the dumpy. Shit, bro. Taking a girl to the curb is the easiest part of a relationship. Text dumper. It's quick, easy, and uh, depending on your, your wireless plan, it could even be free. I can't text dumper. Wait, you, you don't uh, you don't have unlimited texting? We live together. That's on you. That is on you. I can't, I can't help you there. Ooh. You're not going to help me? This is what you're gonna do. Pick a public place, somewhere with a lot of people. That way, if she freaks, starts kicking you in the junk, someone can call 911. It's happened before. It happened to me a couple years back. That's neither here nor there. Stake it out a day beforehand. Make sure you know where all the escape routes are. A solid exit strategy is key. Ah, uh, don't worry, bro. Evelyn's a tough chick. She'll be back on her feet in no time. Live green or blog hive, saving the world one blog at a time. Hey, it's uh, it's me. Oh, hey, baby. What's up? Uh, nothing. You? Uh, I am blogging up a storm today. I just, I have a, a surprise for you. Oh. What is it? I wouldn't want to ruin it. You, you want to meet me at the uh, at the dog park in, in 30? Oh my God. I know what it is. You do? You got a puppy! Wait, it's a rescue, right? Just meet me in 30, okay? Okay. Max, you were the best boyfriend ever.
Someone call 911. Someone call 911. Evelyn! Evelyn! Max? There's been an accident. Just stay still, an ambulance is on its way. Don't wait me. I don't want to leave you. You're not. We will always be together, okay? Oh, is it pretty? Evelyn! You haven't had time to drop this shit off at Goodwill, huh? What? Too soon? Good dick. Come on, you were gonna break up with her anyways, remember? Yeah, I killed her instead. Hey, that is bullshit and you know it. I don't know, I just can't help but think that if I'd stuck it out a little, we would have, we would have found a common ground. We would have been happy again. I refuse to let you talk like that, and I refuse to let you rot away in this shrine to your ex. What am I supposed to do? All the things you used to love to do. I don't know. It's hard to remember who I was before her. Well, I used to love going to the movies, and uh, there just so happens to be a, a double feature at the new Bev tonight. Could be fun. Do you want to go to the movies with me? I would love to go to the movies with you, but... Uh, Actually, I got a smoking hot date with this MILF, Janine, and I met her on Tinder, and I could, uh, I could really use the apartment. No. Hey, it's worth a shot. Good seeing you again, bro. Hey, ladies! Max is single and ready to mingle! Deliver them from the bitter pains of eternal death. The woman was a wicked woman, and she was dead in her own life. Yea, Lord, pity them who are dead. 
The guy took what could have been B-movie exploitation. I've turned it into art house cinema, I know. Is your, um, is your girlfriend here? Uh, no, no, she, um, she moved on. Sorry, it happens, you know? I just broke up with this guy I was seeing because he, um, he suddenly decided to become a born-again Christian. Yeah, my ex could be a little extreme, too. Not quite like this, just like, no smoking, no drinking, no sex. I was like, totally losing my shit. I was like, ah, will somebody please just have sex with me? Right here, baby. <laughs> oh my god, that sounded really fast. <sighs> okay, anyway, it was really nice running into you. You too. Bye. Um, are you doing anything, like, right now? Right now? Because, you know, I was, I was thinking, you know, you never, you never did get that malted if you want. So I took off all of my clothes and I stood right in front of him and I said, you either pick Jesus or you pick me. He picked Jesus. No way. Why? He even joined this Christian rock band. You wanna know what they're called? The Christian Slaters. <laughs> that is too funny. So, um, how'd you break up with yours? I, um, I sort of threw her under the bus. I still feel pretty bad about it. Well, if it's any consolation, you know, she's a tad feisty. Yeah, we had our differences. I mean, she wouldn't know half the stuff we're talking about tonight. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Yeah. I don't think we should be talking about our exes. It's like bad luck or something. It actually kind of helps. Well, then I'm happy to help. To moving on. To moving on. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, do you want to do something fun? Dying to. Okay, good. But you have to promise not to call me crazy. Do you promise? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I promise. Okay. I love coming here. It's like so peaceful and quiet. <laughs> you are crazy. Come on, this isn't just any cemetery. This is the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. You know who's buried here? Yeah, I can think of one. Peter Lorre, John Huston, Johnny Ramone. But how cool is that? Johnny Ramone. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, Max. What? They're coming to get you, Max. <laughs> Stop. They're coming for Stop. you. Stop. You know I ran track They're in high school, right? They're coming for you. I'm coming to get you. Yeah, right. You. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm devouring you like this. No, 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 please continue. Okay. It's just, it's been a really long time. Yeah, ditto. But, um, we should, we should stop. Really? I mean, we're both responsible adults, right? Right. Right. Yeah. Mm. But we really should stop. Really? Yeah. No, yeah, you're... We should, and I have to open up the shop in the morning anyway. So, Where do you work? Uh, Bloody Mary's. You should come by. I'll give you a discount on fake blood pellets. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind. Um, I, uh, I had a, a really, really good time tonight, Max. Me too. I'll see you soon. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm just a little freaked out here. Just give me a second. This is all a flashback to the time you shroomed out on Mr. Toad's wild ride. It's cold out here. I'm gonna catch my dad. Coming. You're gonna open the door. There's not gonna be anyone there. Hey, Max. I'm back. Fuck me. Oh, you read my mind. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Please stop, stop, stop. 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 Stop, what's wrong? You died, I saw you die. Oh, I know, freaky deaky, right? But how? True love conquers all. That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. Don't you see? Our love has been given a second chance and we have to seize the opportunity. Oh no, you're dying. that's really unnecessary. I'm... Oh my God. What? You kept the runner. Yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't I? Well, you know how guys are. Always trading in for a newer model. Oh, I would never do that. Good. Because if you did, you'd be fucking dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Biggie, I'm just screwing with you. Speaking of which... Oh, I'm so horny. Oh, let's play, Biggie. Ah, uh, uh, don't, 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 don't you think you should... Take a shower first. I mean, you were dead for a long time. Well, if you come with me. Oh, you know I hate going to bed with my hair wet. <laughs> Such a wuss. <sighs> Be quick. Take your time. Shit. Who is it? Olivia. Oh, God damn it. Uh, just give me a second. Just one second. Hi again. Hey, what a surprise. Listen, um, I was just thinking about what you said earlier. Yeah. Um, what did I say? I said a lot of things. You know, about us being responsible adults and everything. Right. And that. I just think, you know, if I want to and if you want to, then I think that we should just, you know, we should just go for it, right? I mean, it's gonna happen eventually anyway. Right? Right? Yeah, about that. I think I may have spoken a bit too soon. Awesome. I'm sorry. Um, uh, wh uh, what? I just think, I think we would both enjoy it a lot more if we just waited. Right, okay. <sighs> you really think I'm... Um, just like a big hoe bag now. No, I, I really don't think you're a big hoe bag. A little bit, a little bit. Not even the slightest. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, I, um, I'll, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Who, baby? Who's that? Did you hear that? <laughs> the walls here are so thin. Right. I, I hate Baby, that. That's that's another reason why. I think that we should wait. 
because you don't want the neighbors hearing us going at it like a, a pack of sex crazed hyenas just pounding away at each other all night. You know? Yeah. No, I don't think that I would. Um, um, yeah. Okay. I Okay, uh, yes, so I'll see you, uh, bye. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Who's that? Uh, FedEx. This late? Yeah, well, when it absolutely positively has to be there overnight. Hmm. Oh, I have a special delivery for you. You sure don't want to dry off first? After what is the better baby? <laughs> Then we'd always be together. That night at the shop. Always and forever. Satan, Jeannie. Hmm. Guess it wasn't a lot of horse shit after all. I stand corrected. This. It's gonna be fun. Now where were we? This is not that bad. Sorry, I'm just having a nightmare. I mean, I was having a nightmare. How did you sleep? Oh, not a wink. I have all this energy. Like, I drank 100 Red Bulls or something. Oh, and I cleaned up in a jiffy real quick. <sighs> did we... We didn't... Have sex? Mm, yeah. No, passed out. <laughs> Your penis was the size of a marshmallow mini. But you're awake now. Oh. Time to wake up, Goonie Bird. Uh, Evelyn, Evelyn, <sighs> Ev, do you think we should have breakfast first? Maybe just some for carbs, energy? <laughs> no, it's the craziest thing. I'm not even hungry. I'm gonna lose so much weight. Being dead is the best diet ever. Oh, would you <laughs> look at the time? I'm gonna be late for work. No, 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 come on. then we can have a quickie first. Uh, please, Evelyn, you just rose from the dead. You deserve more than a quickie. Okay, well, when are you gonna be back? Uh, I don't know. It's the Halloween season. Things get real crazy, so don't wait up. <sighs> Come on, Travis, pick up. We got shirts, we got suits, we got ties, we got belts. Hey, baby, you ever uh, bang a Viking, huh? Once you go Norse, you'll have no remorse. I told you not to call me at the office, bro. Travis, whatever you do, do not go back to my apartment. Negativo. I got a scorching hot date tonight with a centerfold from this month's FHM, and she lives with the rents. It's Evelyn. She's back, and she's in my apartment right now. Max, please, please, please don't tell me you ate that ass that I left in your fridge. Travis, I'm serious. She's back, she's dead, and she thinks we're still dating. Down. It'll wear off in 10 to 12 hours. Just don't operate any heavy machinery or... Look, I, I gotta go, okay? I gotta get back to work. Just sit in the corner, listen to some music. I don't know. All right, bye. <sighs> okay, come on. You got me into this. You're gonna get him. <laughs> oh, shit. Hades, a guide for ridding the unwelcome undead by Baron Romanoff the Third, PhD Esquire. Salt, flour, celery, what the? Parsley? Really? You're kidding me. Wolf's bait, yeah, because I got a lot of wolf's bait lying around. Blow directly into the face. Well, you okay?
You're gonna die. Excuse me? One day you're gonna die. And I'm gonna be left all in my lonesome. Well, I'll still be with you in, like, spirit or whatever. You know I can't go on without you. But if I make you like me... Oh, yeah, that, 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 just, just, just think about what you're saying here. It's the only way that we can be together forever. Like we promised. We can get married, buy a house, have tons of babies. What the hell is that? Uh, it's just a little something I like to call NTM Ego Most End Pisces! <laughs> I thought I was gonna sneeze. What was that about? Just a new recipe I wanted to try. Didn't really work out for me. <laughs> You're so silly sometimes. But seriously, <clears throat> if I kill you. Then we get to live happily ever after. Uh, oh, uh, can, can, I, can I say no? What? No, no, it's nothing, nothing personal. I just, uh, I would like to go dancing tonight. Really? Yeah. Dancing? Yeah, yeah, to celebrate your return. Max, you've never been to a club in your entire life. I know, I know, but if I'm gonna die, I'd like to live it up. Okay. Where? <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere where you won't stick out. <laughs> Hey! Stop eye-banging my boyfriend, Morticia. What? You want a step? Huh? Bring it, bitches! Come on, baby. Let's go get our drink on. Yeah! Woo! Excuse me? Uh, what's the closest thing you have to an elephant tranquilizer? Absent. Make it a double. Ever dance with a green fairy before? It's the first time for everything. Careful, this stuff will kill you. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. Your funeral! <laughs> Been there, baby, done that. Woo! One more for the road. You heard the lady. Well, you can skip it. It's dead in there. Get it? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm effing Jake. This is the guy you've been crushing on? Oh my God, please stop. That's so rude. I'm so sorry. There's just too many apple teenies. Well, duty calls. Yeah, do what you gotta. Holla! I will. Because you suck. You know that? It's so embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, baby, we are gonna make sweet, sweet. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 that's dirty Sanchez. Eh? Rusty trombone is when. Oh, brother. Is this the kind of freaky shit you're into? No, but I, I could be. <sighs> Gone necro, bro. She's not dead, Travis. It's not in the traditional sense. No, please help me take her to bed. No, I, I, I'm not touching that bitch. Travis, because you're my boy, but you're putting her back in the ground when you're done. You got any gloves? Oh, please, Travis. Mm. Mm, mm, baby. Ah! What do hmm? Funny man. What, are you gonna draw a dick on my face? Hmm? You're from my fingers in warm water. What is, what is that smell? I shit my pants. Ev, I was actually just showing Travis the door. You, you, uh, you've had a, hey, you, you really partied like a champ tonight. I think you should just go rest. Screw that, I'm up now, and you better be too. You know what I mean. Why don't you have this? I'll be right back, okay? Travis. Travis, wait! Dude, what kind of voodoo did you do in there, Max? I didn't, I swear. There's a freaking Tim Burton movie in your living room. Oh my God, she, she could be one of the infected. Dude, please tell me you wore a condom when you were banging her. It's not a virus thing, Travis. It's more of a be careful what you wish for thing. I would seriously invest in a hazmat suit if I were you. Peace. You're just going to take off? Yep. You're not even going to help me? Nope. Travis, she wants to kill me. Sooner or later, all broads do. But I thought we were bros. Half bros. Travis, please, just tell me what to do. What you were supposed to do in the first place, dump her ass. Just hope she doesn't eat your brains first. Think I'm just a girl, just a girl from another world. Morning. I made breakfast. Here, sit. I use chocolate chips, just like at IHOP. Dig in. I'm not hungry. So, have you thought about our talk? Together, forever? Yeah, about that. Um, What's wrong? 
Well, I, I, I just feel like things are getting a little bit stale. Stale? Wrong word, sorry. What are you trying to say? I just think before we take such a drastic step in our relationship, how would you feel about taking a very small break? Or more of a breather, really. Are you breaking up with me? No, it's just, it's just a, a, a breather. I dug myself out of a grave for you. Do you have any idea how hard it is digging yourself out of a grave? It's friggin' hard! And there goes the deposit. I can't believe you. Ow, F, you're drawing blood. Where do you get the balls to even ask me if I want to break? Right, see, I'm asking if you want to take a break. Because I'm worried that I'm not giving you what you need, what you want, what you deserve. Lord knows you deserve so much. <sighs> Baby, don't be silly. You are the best boyfriend ever. Oh, you make me so happy. <laughs> uh. <sighs> you always loved violence. Thank you. Go to hell. Hey. Why don't you go to hell? Already there, sir. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Rough night? Rough life. Yeah. I thought you might be a little hungover, so I brought you a remedy that's been in my family for years. <laughs> Olivia, you are an angel from heaven yeah i know <laughs> it must be nice having your own place making your own hours greeting customers the way you want <laughs> getting burgers whenever you want yeah i'm thinking about subletting the space on the other side if you know anyone who's interested it would make a really great spot for like a startup you think i did but uh, I don't think he's chasing that dream anymore. That's too bad. Sometimes people just gotta take a chance, you know? I should probably get that. Yeah. Who dare call Bloody Marys? Hey, baby. Uh, hi. Um, I'm, I'm a little, uh, busy right now. Yeah, well, I was just thinking about you and I wanted to call. Um, that's nice. Uh, I'm, I'm with a customer. Okay. Max? Yeah? I love you. That's great. That's really great. Yeah, yeah. I said I love you. Loud and clear. Well, aren't you going to say it back? Max? Hello? Yeah, yeah lo love you back, bye. My boss is, uh... <laughs> yeah, you know... Cut the crap, Max. Please just... Let me explain. No, okay? you don't have to explain anything. I, I, I know exactly what's going on. I really don't think you do. It's obvious. You're not over your ex yet. It's not me, Olivia. It's her. She won't get out of my life. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna like share you with someone else, you know? I already tried that with my ex-boyfriend and you know how that turned out, so. Believe me, Olivia, I really, really like you. Well, there's only so much rejection that I can take. If you want to be with me, then you'll be with me. Okay. 
You know, um, they're showing Night of the Living Dead tomorrow night at the Hollywood Forever. And I'll be there if you want to meet me. And if not, that's totally fine. But, you know, it was nice to know you then. OK. Bye. So you're saying I should re-kill my ex? Seeing as you can't nat up, I say you got no choice. Yeah, but I tried, I tried, and she went all 28 weeks later on me. Listen to me, that girl in our apartment is not Evelyn anymore. She's zombie Evelyn, she's Zevelyn. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. And what am I supposed to do anyway? Huh? I, I, I saw her get hit by a bus and, and, and break her neck, and she's still going. Bullet to the brain? I mean, it works in all those zombie movies. No, 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 no. I'm against firearms. Stay through the heart. She's not a vampire. Electrocution. Bathtub, hair dryer, zap. She's dead. Mm. I'd probably end up zapping myself. Right, let, let, me, let me see what we have around here. There, there's... Uh, ooh. Good old-fashioned beheading ought to do it. Easy, too. Just go creeping while she's asleep. Evelyn doesn't sleep. Well, you'll just have to get creative, then. I think you're gonna do, are you? Uh, what on earth would that be? Don't play dumb, Max. You're gonna repaint the walls. <laughs> you got me. I noticed the color was fading, so I was gonna add another coat. Hmm, that's sweet, Max. But you're gonna have to wait until I finish my yoga. My chakra's off. <sighs> Since I came back, I can hit all these poses I couldn't before. Mm. It's pretty rad. <clears throat> what are you doing, baby? Uh, just, um, admiring your form. Where's the blood? Where, where's the gore? Where, where, where's the viscera? I couldn't do it. What do you mean you couldn't do it? Killing someone is hard. She's already dead, Max! It doesn't matter if she's alive or dead. It's hard. I'm just gonna stand Olivia up tonight, and that'll be the end of it. I'll let Evelyn eat me, turn me into one of the living dead, and we can rot unhappily ever after. Stop it right now. You're meeting Olivia at that cemetery tonight. I told you, Travis, I'm not beheading my ex. You're not. I am. No, this, this isn't your fight. I know, but I got this. I really don't think you do. I got this, all right? I don't understand why you have to go into work this tonight. It's the graveyard shift, Ev. The night before Halloween is always a bitch. Shells gotta get stocked, pumpkins gotta get carved, cobwebs gotta get hung. It just seems weird. 
You were never this busy when I was, you know, alive. Well, that was the off season and this is game time. We'll try to get home early. I'll try, but I have a feeling tonight is gonna be a big one. Kiss, kiss. Go home. I just came to get my Gorgora Girls DVD back. Max has had it for months. Well, you can get it tomorrow. No can do. I'm leaving on an epic snowboarding trip. Won't be back till New Year's. Well, hello, Evelyn. You're looking especially morbid this evening. Just get your DVD and go home, douchebag. Easy, Thriller. I'll be quick. night for a zombie movie surrounded by a bunch of dead people. I wouldn't have it any other way. Shall we? We shall. Let's do it. <laughs> Can't you just get it when you come back? Nope. Why? Because it gets very lonely up there. I need my spank material. Oh, you are repulsive. Do you know that? Right back at you, toots. Hallelujah. The Gore Gore Girls. It's an instant classic. Great. Leave. No, 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 no. I, I gotta test it out first. Oh, come on. The last time I lent Max a DVD, the damn thing got so scratched up it looked like a game of Tetris. I was very upset. It was Wild Things, too. I'm sure that your stuff is fine. Now, please leave. Two minutes, OK? Two minutes. Scout time. Two minutes. Yeah. Hey, do you have any, uh, do you have any leftovers? Travis?
this up. Uh, right, you're just gonna hump me and dump me. I think you're the type. I gotta swing by my place and check on something. I'll call you later, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go home, get a few more Z's. You wore me out. <laughs> hey, um, you were right, by the way. About oh, what? It was worth the wait. I've been worried sick. I, uh, I was working. I told you. I called. No one answered. Yeah, I was busy. I'm sorry. You changed your clothes. Oh, yeah. I, um, I, I spilled caro syrup all over them, and then I had to go to the dry cleaner to pick these up. Did I, uh, did I miss anything? No. No? I ate dinner. Cleaned up. You ate dinner? Mm-hmm. But you're never hungry. Well, I got a craving. What did you do to him, Ev? Where is he? Max. Ev. Hate my brother. Half brother Max. And the lesser half, if you ask me. We were family. I am your family now. He was a user and a loser. Max, he didn't even taste good. I. I can't believe you did this. No more games, Max. You promised me that we would be together forever. It's time. I promise. It won't hurt that much. You're right. No more games. Let's do this. But, uh... Not here. Where? Why don't you run a... Run a bath and I'll meet you there. In a sec. And why don't you make it hot? Nice and hot. With bubbles. Homicide? Bear with me because this is going to sound really, 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 really weird. But my girlfriend came back from the dead and then she ate my brother and now she's going to eat me. Hello? Hurry up, Max. The water is getting cold. Uh, coming. Just, uh, doing my taint.
you were done playing games, Max. Please help me. God damn it. All your horses. Been on a John. What's the ruckus? You may want to sit down first, sir. Costume. Give me candy. Give me cake. Give me something sweet to take. What are you? I am resurrected! <laughs> How you pulling my pickle, Sonny boy? No, god damn it. This is actually happening right now. Are you on mess? No, sir. Now, can you please send a squad car to my apartment, preferably with officers that shoot really, really well? Attention, all units. Breaking and entering in a malt shop on the corner of Melrose and Healy Trope. What kind of idiot knocks over a malt shop? Schmuck knocks over a malt shop. Olivia. Goddamn methods. <laughs> My boyfriend, nothing's gonna happen to you. Evelyn! Max! You let her go. This is between you and me. You cheated on me with her. It's not like that, Ev. Now let her go and I will explain everything. You broke my heart, Max. I know, Ev, but it's not beating anymore. Now let her go. I'm not gonna ask again. What the hell is going on, Max? Olivia, this is Evelyn, my dead ex-girlfriend. What? This... You know, I met you before, and you were a bitch then, and you're an even bigger bitch now. Evelyn! Enough! We were happy together, we were, Max. We weren't, Ev. I wasn't for a very long time. It's my fault. I should have ended it. I let her go, and we can break up for real this time. I don't understand. Evelyn, we weren't meant to be together. Why? You would never be happy with me because I would never be happy. It's time to go, Ev. It's time to be with you now. Okay. But I'm taking you with me. <laughs>
woman. I'm sorry, Olivia. This is Travis. Travis, oh. this is Olivia. Yeah, I've heard a lot about you. Jesus Christ, Max, how many zombies do you know? Just these two, really. So, what do we do now? Bury your ex. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this sooner. I really wanted to. I just... I didn't know how. And if you just let me, I promise, I will prove to you that... this month's rent because I um, spent all my money on this well what do you think <laughs> Max my love I think we're gonna make great partners We could only get your brother to settle down. Welcome to Max and Olivia's crematorium. Hey, baby, you ever bang a zombie? Once you go on dead, it's never been better in bed. Just saying.
Go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna fucking throw.